of you will notice that your accounts from Google Docs are being now switched to Google Drive. In this video, my objective is to explain what the difference is uh, between the two. You'll notice that when you log into your Google Docs account, it will now no longer appear as Docs, but rather as Drive, and in the black bar it will appear as Drive. You'll also notice that you can download a client piece of software to your computer to automatically sync materials. You can ignore this. In time, this message will go away. So a lot of us stay the same. Uh, you can store all of your online digital artifacts and documents to communicate, collaborate, and share. However, the big change from Google Docs to Google Drive is that this is now an online storage space as well. So it's more like Dropbox or iCloud. But you can uh, use the same buttons as you used before. So if I click the Create Red button, I can create a Google document or a presentation, spreadsheet, form, and even now uh, drawings as well. I can also use uh, the uh, button to the right of the Create button to upload files or folders. So I can uh, upload both files and folders into my account. Uh, so I can upload documents such as Microsoft Office documents and turn them into Google Docs, such as Word documents, uh, PowerPoint presentations, Excel spreadsheets. All these now can be uploaded as a file. So the uh, one of the best features uh, that has changed is that when you click Upload Files, you can now upload any kind of file. So you can upload a movie, you can upload a PDF, you can upload a uh, screenshot or a picture. Any file format can now be stored in your Google Docs account. And what's great about that is because uh, you'll notice that you have up to five gigabytes of storage, um, about 2,000 times the size that we provide on the file server. In the next video, we're gonna discuss some of the organizational features of Google Docs.